A12 ketones. Let that sit. All right, y'all. Still in ketosis. So, my hubby went to get my scale. He got these so I can try. And these are not bad. They taste just like the regular Jolly Ranchers. They're just shaped different. Um, and I can say, I don't know what my favorite is. Grape is like, they taste like they sour. Like, I don't, you know, they're not sweet. Like, they're good. They taste like the real Jolly Ranchers. And it comes with grape, watermelon, cherry, and apple. So those have been pretty okay. I cannot wait to eat. I can't wait to eat. I'm, I'm not fudging you or anything i did this water fast to get on a get to a certain number on the scale for me and i'm gonna keep saying for me for my mental for my journey doing it my way because people don't understand if you want to go a certain amount of time you choose the time you want to go and you do that for you everybody's body is different everybody's health is different everybody reasoning is different everybody is different so how long i went may not be for everybody um somebody else might want to go uh two months a month or whatever the case may be that is your choice it's not about comparing the thing is, like I said, if you can even do one day when you're normally used to eating, that is great. I commend you and I cheer you because it's not easy. Just one day is not even easy. So we're not going to look down on anybody because they don't do the amount of days that we do or make someone feel bad. You don't know what they struggle with. You don't know what their situation is in their home. So let's just be mindful of that. Um, but me, I cheer on everybody because this is a struggle for everybody. But y'all, I can't wait to eat. I cannot wait to eat. I'm so afraid when it's time to eat. I just cannot wait to eat. I have uh, date nights through Groupon for me and my husband. Two different places that we want to try that I bought months ago. Not months ago. Well, yeah, wow. Before the water fast, it wasn't months ago. So it was about, yeah, before the water fast. About three, four weeks ago. Um, yeah, so with that being said, um, I can't wait to get back into my life and be regular and be able to eat the things I enjoy and work out like crazy because I want to get so into strength training and I want to get into like physically, you know, building and toning my body and letting this weight melt off through my weight training and fitness and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I don't know how I'm going to vlog at that point. Um, I think I'll probably weigh in weekly. Um, and the gyms will be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'll probably just vlog um, those days. I don't know how that's going to work. Because if I go to the gym Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'll probably have to start my Monday from a Friday. That's what I'll do to keep it consistent. To give y'all Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's what I'll probably do. Um, and just share and probably do one day be legs, one day be, one day be lower body, midsection and upper body, you know, um, please close that door, Rizzy. Hold on. Jeez. So yeah, time is winding down. Time is winding down. Today is Memorial Day and your girl's in this bed smelling all the good barbecues around me. Y'all don't even understand. <laughs> I don't even understand. I know I'm going to have ups and downs. But you know what? At the end of the day, y'all going to see me reach my goal and, and, and get this body where I need it to be. At the end of the day, no matter what, it's going to happen. I believe that I manifest that and I put that in the atmosphere because I go for what I want. And I want to feel and look good. And I don't want to just lose weight and be all flabby and all over the place just because I'm losing weight, you know. So, yeah. Alright, y'all. So then, the day literally did a 180 on me. My body, everything, um, every time I would get up, the room would spin. My eye sockets were hurting and I was very flush. So, it's like 7 something in the evening on my day 12. And, um, yeah, 
I feel so weird and I feel terrible. Like when I'm getting up, I'm feeling like pressure. And it's like, y'all, this is why I'm in the bed all the time. I haven't, I don't know if I explained that to you, but I'm sorry if I haven't. I know some people like she's always in the bed. Y'all, I've been pushing, I've been pushing, I've been pushing. And I'm about to lay my butt down. It's like a, it's after seven. I'm trying to sleep through this. Hopefully I'll feel good tomorrow. Me and my husband and my kids are like, mom, mom, mom. Like, you're looking weaker. You're fit looking like you're weaker. Like, I, it's like I feel lighter, but I feel so weak. I feel so, I don't even know how to explain it. Lightheaded. I feel dizzy. I feel like pressure on my head when I stand up. Um, I've been looking up some things and I try not to be negative and I don't want to be like a quitter or nothing like that, but, um, it's a lot, it's a lot. And, uh, me and my husband was just texting and he was just like, he outside cutting the grass. Well, he's done now. This was like six something. Hold on. <sighs> I was like, I said, I was texting him, I said, I was saying, I said, oh my gosh, I'm struggling, babe. He was like, what happened? I was like, babe, my energy, my energy is ridiculous. I just don't know. He said, yeah, I feel you. So what are you going to do? I said, babe, I don't know. He said, well, you did it longer. I'm trying to, I can trying to cover hope it don't mess up he was like he was like well you did it he was like well you did it longer than you said so if you don't have energy you need to stop I said babe I feel like a loser I wanted to finish strong why me and he was like babe your pressure he was like your pressure he was like your pressure could be low and that's not good he was like I hate seeing you like this he was like um he was like, I hate seeing you like this. You're in the bed all day, babe. We are proud of you. That's all that matters. Your people will understand. I'd rather you eat and get your energy. And you know how to get the weight off. Look how far you came. It was only supposed to be three days, babe. I'll be up after I cut the grass. Well, that's what he said. That's what he said to me, but... So... Yeah, I just, I'm so sad right now. I don't know why I'm sad. I'm so emotional, y'all. Oh, my gosh. I don't know why. <sighs> I just feel like, okay, Camille, this day has been sucky. Let's try to push through it. Let's try to push through it. See what happens um, for you and just go from there. Let's just try to push through it. <sighs> Let's just try to push through it. I'm just going to sleep this off. I'm going to sleep this off, but whatever I decide to do, um, tomorrow we'll see how I feel, and y'all know I'm going to keep y'all posted. So why, I just get alert from, you know, YouTube comments, and somebody on my YouTube video, look at the, look at the ignorance, I want y'all to see this, and I don't care if I'm exposing, no, you know what, because then that makes people, some people like that, and they'll go subscribe, I'm not even going to do it, y'all probably seen it anyways, it don't matter. So it's my Audi food store sucks. That was my my title. But it really wasn't that wasn't really what the video was about. So somebody says their food sucks and their meats are nasty and taste weird. She talking about getting her money back and replace cheap rip off black women. Black woman, you're trash. Why are people so evil? Like I'm literally <laughs> This is absolutely crazy. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to screenshot this. Y'all, this is stuff I deal with, and I try to ignore, and um, I try not to pay attention to, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, remove user from channel. Yep. All right, let me lay down, y'all. I feel terrible. Let me lay down. I'm just going to try to sleep through this night. Alright y'all. Hey y'all. 
So, this is the morning that I will be weighing in for day 12. I'm literally on my bed trying to edit. I don't know how I'm full through this day. I wanted to do the ketosis thing for, for this morning. Once again, spinning, spinning, spinning. Um, after I edit this, <clears throat> I'm gonna probably take another nap and then get up about 10 ish, 11 ish, and um, head out to CVS. Oh, this is crazy, y'all. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, I be pushing, trying to pull through, trying to be strong, trying, trying to talk strong, like. Everything's all good. And I'm like, how did I walk that day? I felt pretty good. I didn't feel too, too bad. I felt kind of lightheaded, but I was walking so slow and we were just enjoying it. I wasn't trying to speed walk or nothing. So I'm like, then all of a sudden, just this feeling, it, it already was on me, but it wasn't so bad. I'm just thinking, oh, it's just a part of the detox. But like I said, when I read up on it, it's the feelings that I'm getting now are more extreme and not normal and I just want to stay in the bed and this is just not the life for me oh all right let me um let me get off here and, and edit this video